Henry and Mudge and the Tall Tree House. Uncle Jake. One day, Uncle Jake came to visit Henry and Henry's big dog Mudge and Henry's parents. Uncle Jake was very big. Henry's father called him Burly. What does Burly mean? Big, hairy, and plain, said Henry's father. That was Uncle Jake. Henry liked Uncle Jake a lot. Mudge liked him even more. Mudge liked Uncle Jake because Uncle Jake wrestled. Mudge and Uncle Jake would get on the, on the fo floor and wrestle and wrestle. Mudge always won. This time, when Uncle Jake came to visit, he had something special in his truck. He had boards. What are... What are the boards for, Uncle Jake? Asked, asked Henry. Uncle Jake gave a burly smile and said, Adventure. Really? said Henry. He liked adventure, especially with much. Yup, I'm building you a tree house, said Uncle Jake. A tree house? said Henry. Wow! Henry loved tree houses. They they, they were thrilling, they were exciting, they were in trees. Henry looked at Mudge. Mudge could jump, Mudge could run, Mudge could even dance a little. But Mudge, for sure, could not climb a tree. Uh oh, said Henry. He put his arm around Mudge and be began to worry. Uncle Jake was very proud. The tree house. Uncle Jake was so burly that he had the tree house built in two hours. He and Henry and Mudge stood behind it. Uncle Jake was very proud. Henry was very worried. Mudge was just itching. Okay, Henry, it's all yours, said Uncle Jake. Go on up. Henry looked at Mudge. Henry did, did not want to go in, into the treehouse. He did not want a venture without Mudge, but he couldn't hurt Uncle Jake's feelings. He climbed up. He stood in the treehouse and looked around. It was thrilling. It was exciting. It was lonely. Thanks, Uncle Jake, Henry called. It's great. I'll take much for a walk, said Uncle Jake. Have a ball. Henry watched Mudge leave with Uncle Jake. Mudge did not want to go. Want to go. Henry could tell because Mudge kept sitting down and yawning. Mudge always acted tired when he did not want to go. He didn't want to go. Sleepy dog, Uncle Jake called with a smile. Finally, he got much down the road, and Henry felt sadder than any boy with a new tree house ever felt. Forgot something. Henry sat in his tree house for 14 minutes. Then he climbed down and went into the house. Uncle Jake was back. He and Henry parent, Henry's parents were playing cards. I forgot something, Henry told them. He ran upstairs. Mudge was on Henry's bed, chewing a bone. Henry gave Mudge a big hug and kiss. He ran back down, downstairs. He waved to his parents and Uncle Jake, then returned to the treehouse. He sat for 14 minutes. Then he climbed down and went into the house. Forgot something else, he called. He ran upstairs. He came back down. He returned to the treehouse for 14 more minutes. Then he climbed back down and went into the house. Forgot something. He did the same thing over and over, five times in a row. Finally, Henry's father met him in the door. At the door, 
Henry, what is it? Asked, asked Henry's father. Henry hung his head. I miss Mudge. Henry's father smiled. I thought you might, he said. So Uncle Jake and I came up with a plan. He's very happy. Isn't this great, Mudge? Asked, asked Henry. They were... They, they were sitting in the treehouse. They had comic books and cheese sandwiches. Mudge had some toys, a bear, an alligator, and a roly-poly snowman. They were very happy. A treehouse in a tray was okay. But a treehouse in Henry's room was even better. It was thrilling. It was exciting. It had much. Ah, bye bye. Henry and Mudge had a tumbling trip, vacation. But Henry and Henry's big dog Mudge went into their kitchen one day. Henry's parents were looking at a book. The book was called The Wild West. Why are you reading about the West? As asked Henry. Because we are all going there, said Henry's mother, on vacation. Wow, said Henry. Even much? Of course, said Henry's father. We need some, some, someone to round up all those cows. Henry imagined mud around rounding up cows, Mudge would probably just kiss all of them. I could, I can't wait to wear boots and have cowboy hats, said Henry. Me too, said Henry's father. What can Mudge wear, asked Henry. They all looked at Mudge. He was drooling on the floor. How about a boot, said Asked Henry's dad. Tumbling tum tumblers. Henry and Mudge and Henry's parents loaded up their car and headed west. Henry had lots of comic books and crossword puzzles to keep him busy on the trip. Mudge just had an old shoe Mudge could keep busy for years with an old shoe. It was fun driving west. The land got flatter. The skies got bigger. The people got taller. All those cowboy boots. The west is big, Henry said at a rest, rest stop, stop. Big enough in, in, in it. Even for Mudge, said Henry's father, Mudge wagged his tail and knocked down a parking sign. Well, said Henry's father, maybe not. At night, the family checked into a motel. It, it was called the Cowboy Inn. The, the our owner gave Henry a cowboy hat and he gave Mudge a bandana. Wow, said Henry, thanks. While Henry's father and mother rested in lawn, tra lawn chairs, Henry and Mudge chased tumbleweeds. They were everywhere and they were fast. Henry pointed to one. Get it, Mudge? Mudge chased the tumbleweed. Henry, he carried it back to Henry in his mouth. Good dog, said Henry. Another tumbleweed trembled by. Get it, Mudge chased that one. When they were finished, they had 42. Henry's mother looked at Mudge. I wish you can clean the house as fast as you can clean the west, she told Mudge. Mudge wag. He liked the west. It had no toys that no one had to throw. Home. The West was so much fun. Henry and Mudge and Henry's parents went to the desert. 
These are the strange cactus plants and beautiful flowers. The only thing Mudge saw was a lizard who ran under a, a rock and wouldn't come out. Henry and Mudge and Henry's parents went on long drives through canyons. They saw rams and on tall rock mountains. Big horns, said Henry. And the family stopped at some shops. Henry loved sour, sour visits. He bought magnets and pencils. He bought bandanas. He bought a snow globe with a cowboy inside. He bought some mudge, some jerky. It is what all the cowboys chew much, said Henry. Mudge didn't care about chewing. He swallowed the jerky in one group. Mudge loved the rest. When the vacation was over, Henry and Mudge and Henry's parents made the long drive home. The cat, the lad, on high Hitler. The skies got smaller. The people got shorter. Shot, shot, shorter. No boots. Shorter. No boots. But everything looked good. Henry and Mudge were glad to be back home. There were no tumbleweeds to chase, no rats or lizards. But there were a million things just as fun right under Henry's bed. Henry and Mudge had loved their Wild West trip, but they loved home best of all.